Hello, today we're going to look at how to create and edit a LinkedIn company page. So let's go ahead and get started by going to the LinkedIn website. The first thing you want to do is establish whether or not you have a company page. In many cases, if you have multiple people who have uh, LinkedIn profiles personally, they will go ahead and take your domain and create a company page for you. You'll then have to go and edit it yourself. So go up to the search box and do a search for your law firm's name. If you do not find results, then what you want to do is go to Companies Home and then go over to the Add a Company tab and click on Add a Company. You would then add your company name and your email address at that company. There's a couple of rules and requirements to add or edit company pages. And if you don't have your own domain, in other words, if you have a Gmail or Yahoo or a Hotmail account, you cannot uh, create a company page because they're not unique to an individual company. Uh, LinkedIn says consider creating a group if your company does not have a unique email domain. Another thing that you're required to have is a profile that's at least more than 50% complete. So go ahead and update your profile and get it at least to 50% complete if you want to be able to edit your company page. Finally, you must have several connections. So those are the rules before you can add a company page or edit a company page. Assuming you've gotten that far, you'll create a page and get a email and then you'll confirm it and then you'll have a, a page getting started. It will automatically populate with what it knows about you, primarily who's in your network and the name of the company itself. Everything else is editable so we'll go ahead and get started. First on the overview page and there's several tabs that you have. Overview, careers and products and services are the visible pages to your audience. The rest of them, the page statistics is only visible to the editors of the company page. So going to the admin tools what we want to do is do a little editing the home page. So you would click on edit, optimize your overview page description for English. If if this was the first time you had gone in you would find that you may already be the admin and that in fact everyone in your company was the admin if you didn't start from a new page but you found that you had already had one created automatically by the system you would go ahead and designate administrators otherwise everyone who works for the firm is an administrator so designate the admins do be careful to designate yourself as the administrator otherwise you'll have to ask one of these fine folks to go in and add you back next thing you want to do is upload an image. They have a standard logo uh, that's a right, you know, a size, and then the square logo. This one's going to use in network updates, so it's going to be a slightly smaller dimension. It gives you the dimensions before you upload it. Then you want to put in a company description, and in this case, it says company specialties. If you're in a state where your advertising solicitation rules prohibit use of the word specialty. Uh, then you need to think about whether you put that information in company specialties as it does show up as specialties on the page. Just something to be in mind of. If you have a blog, then go ahead and put the RSS feed of the blog here. Another thing, and, and what one HubSpot uh, marketing company says, calls low-hanging fruit, is news about your company. So in this case, we've selected show news about my company, uh, and what this does is it searches Bloomberg's and other news sources for the company name and displays those results on the home page. Going over here to the left side, you can choose your company type, your company size by drop downs, put in your URL for your website, what your industry is, and all this information. If you put your company location, and you can have up to five, and you can specify whether or not this is your headquarters location or not, as you can see here, and how many employees are at the location. Once you do this, it's going to create a, a, a Google map as well. So let's go ahead and publish this and see what it looks like. So you'll see here that the logo appears here, the description is here, this is going to be unique for each person who visits your page because it's showing you what who you're linked in with and your network personally so it will look different to each person who visits other information is the activity on the LinkedIn page as soon as the blog is updated the blog post will show up here's the uh, information about the company the headquarters with the Google map 
and also that this we have 188 followers you'll be wanting to let people know that you have a company page to follow and I'll show you how to do that in just one moment so the next opportunity you have is the careers page and if you go to careers you can go ahead and post a job if this is something of interest to you so if you click on post a job you can read all about what you get to do here and then click on post job again and you'll see that it is uh, it does have a fee it's two hundred ninety five dollars for a thirty day posting I suspect depending on how many uh, postings you want to purchase and other variables those prices will change you do have a lot of uh, fields and a lot of rooms so job title location company um, all sorts of different types descriptions desired skills and experience um, and one of the nice things is that when you put this in people who have selected to have information sent to them about new job inquiries will get this information sent to them if you are already on LinkedIn as an individual you know you probably get uh, suggested jobs or jobs in your area so it is a good way to get visibility for your postings and in fact have them matched up with people who are already in the system so that's job postings in a nutshell so we'll go ahead and cancel out of this and back at the overview we'll look at another tab and that is products and services this is by far the most interesting opportunity for the firm to add information about what your firm does so if you go to the products and services page you'll have a couple of different things that you can do you have a rotating uh, graphic at the top that is hyperlinked so you can put up to three products and services spotlights that are hyperlinked and take you to a specific place on your website then you're going to have individual products and services and people can individually recommend those and take a look at them so uh, if you open up one you can see you can request recommendations get recommendations and there's no way to put a hyperlink in the description so keep that in mind your link is going to be over here so you do want to be able to uh, link things but you can spell out your, your URL but it will not be a, a live hyperlink so just something to uh, keep in mind so if we wanted to uh, add a new product or service we go up now the first time you do this you haven't added a product or service yet so when you click on admin tools you get an edit button you click it and it immediately takes you to the following page the add a product or service page so what I'm going to do is add my department to the products and service page so we're going to call it a product or rather a service I'm going to choose a category in this case business services we're going to choose law practice management and technology I'm going to upload a photo and then I'm going to describe my product or service I'm not going to recreate the wheel so I'm going to go to my website and pick up the description copy it and paste it in in terms of the features we want to pull out I'll say Now I can add more just by clicking on add more features. If I needed to put a disclaimer about the product I have an opportunity to do so there. And then up here if I want to add a URL for this product or service which I do. And then you can put uh, individual and this is again going to link to your LinkedIn profile so I'll put that here I don't have a promotion but if you wanted to promote uh, this product or had a special promotion going you have an opportunity to put that information in do I want to add a YouTube video about this product or service I don't have a YouTube video specific to this product or service but I do have a how-to video
and this is kind of an interesting thing it says YouTube video URL and if you've ever had experience with putting in a YouTube video URL a lot of times you know that there's an embed code that you can get from YouTube in this case that's not what you want to pick up so what you want to pick up here is a YouTube video this link here just the regular one from the website itself is what you want to copy and paste and we'll paste it right in there and you'll be able to verify that it's uh, loaded correctly because you'll see it here in the page so now I'm happy with that and I'm going to click publish and you can see how it looks so the product overview the logo uh, the different um, in bulleted points about what the product has and then the visit the website contact this person and the example of the how-to video so it looks pretty good and we'll go back to the uh, home page for products and services if you want to change out this product and service spotlight you would click on the administrative tools and edit that lets you edit this home page and you have a couple of different things you can do here so if you scroll down describe what your company offers you can do a general description of the products and services of the law firm then market and showcase your company with up to three images so again I just went in and uploaded an image and put a hyperlink to each of the images that I was highlighting you can go through and change this out at any time the other thing you can do is add another YouTube video here again if you have a video about your products and services one thing that might be interesting to you is the ability to create create multiple versions of this particular landing page and then subsequently what products and services are served up by creating uh, a new audience so if you look at the default audience um, it's pretty much everybody that has access to it if we create a new audience I can create a title for this new audience uh, so for instance with the Chicago Bar Association we serve lawyers and we serve the public so you might want to create a view for people who are just legal uh, legal practitioners and then also maybe one for people who are coming in from in different industries so description company size so we have a couple of demographics that we can uh, choose uh, company size job function what industry they're coming from and it lets you kind of dig down uh, into the different uh, industries seniority and geography so again here you can uh, dig down a little bit deeper and even specify what state so if you were licensed to practice in multiple states you could choose that if you had wanted to have one products and services page appear for everybody in the states you were licensed in versus people in states you were not licensed in you could do that kind of thing uh, so lots of good opportunities here so we'll go back to the products and services page and the last thing I want to show you is page statistics now we just generated this page not a few days ago so we don't have a lot of statistics going just yet uh, but you will be able to see as time progresses and as you promote this that uh, you can choose page views by overviews careers and products and services what uh, visitor demographics you're getting um, check to see whether your banner promotions and your special promotions are getting any click-throughs and unique visitors again for the three main pages now how do you get people to follow you and how do you get people to uh, interact well one thing you can do is you will go to the follow company button it's on the LinkedIn developers network and you would put in your company name and it's going to generate a preview of the button then you get the code and you would copy and paste that code and put it in your website uh, on your blog and wherever you want people to see that uh, follow button that's visible to them 
couple of other things you might want to think about. is once you've created all this you want to keep people engaged so something that you can do is share an update in addition to uh, entering your RSS feed for your blog you can also update content with this so you know you would type in um, some a bit of information or news you can attach a link if you want to and click the share button that will populate for anyone visiting uh, their LinkedIn site and logged in and following the Chicago Bar Association or your law firm when I go to the home page I would see uh, information about what the Chicago Bar Association is doing um, because I am following them and so I would see the status updates here as well and we'll go and take a look at that so people see what you're doing um, unfortunately there's no place to create this page and then make it live you were kind of doing this live and announcing it as you go uh, that said you know go back and make changes people will will see that you've been updating it but I don't think that that's um, too big of a deal and because like Twitter this is a ticker it'll disappear off the page so with that I appreciate your time and thank you very much